hi guys welcome back to my channel so um someone was asking me how to cut your flounce and know like the exact size you would need so guys this is normally how you would cut a flounce right and then you just go ahead from this point you cut So guys normally this is the original way of cutting your flounce right but sometimes like this is what it would look like but sometimes people tend to like you will not know how many spiral like how many times you have to go around to get the exact measurements you need although you can just measure the inner part like take your tape this way and measure how much you would need right and just type try to turn it around this way but if you feel like this one is more difficult so this is what the person was actually asking me like when you see the flounce by the side of the pants or side of a skirt like how you know how much to cut so guys basically what you're going to measure is from the waist to maybe the end of the pant but remember you still need to subtract for folding the edge of the pant so you can't make the flounce the same length like um as the side let's say you're putting it to the side of your pants is what i'm trying to say you can't make it the same length because then it will drop to the floor so you might stop like five inches before you get to the end so that the tail of the flounce can then get to that point you understand so what i'm trying to explain is how how you're going to cut it is you're just going to i'm going to use this piece of fabric to explain so basically you fold your fabric into four this way into two into four then you have a square like you're trying to cut the circle the first thing you need is to cut this the first opening this way and then the second is just to cut the length so this first opening is going to contain the waist like sorry the the um the width that you're going to use and then the second is the length let's say you want to use and some you remember some have like longer um like it goes from maybe a, sh a shorter side and then it's it increases uh to maybe Maybe the shorter length part of it might be five inches and then the longest part is eight. If you're cutting this type of flounce using this method, you will just have to use that eight inches all the way around, right? And then once you open it up, you can go ahead and reduce it. So I'm just trying to illustrate with this. So let's say you've gone ahead and cut it now. I'm still going to use this to explain the calculation, but just so you get what I'm trying to say. So you've cut everything out. This is what it looks like, right? You've cut the, you're, you're cutting it like you're cutting a 360 circle right all the sides are going to be equal then you're going to just slit open one side once you slit open one side this is what your flounce will look like right so now you see it's still giving exactly what this one looks like too it's still the same flounce right so all you have to do now is since you've already used the longest line to calculate all of them you just go up to the top maybe it's this part that you want to shorten then you go in and blend it in like shorten it into maybe five inches this way and now you have a shorter part of your flounce that goes in to the longer part of the flounce. So guys, what I was trying to explain, if I'm adding this to the side of a pant now and I decide to use the full length of the long pant, if I get the, the, maybe from here to the ankle, if you reach to the ankle, then this part of the flounce will be dropping on the floor. But if you stop like five inches, just enough length so that this one will float and not get to the floor, then you see it will look better that way so now let me tell you how you're going to calculate it so basically guys how you're going to calculate the amount of fabric you're working with is so the whole point of this is that you're cutting it as a circle like how you would cut a circle a 360 circle and then you split it open so guys now let's um let's move over to the calculation so what i was trying to explain guys i know i keep saying pants here but the pants is uh where the question stand from so but it can be for anything it can be for a long skirt it can be for a short skirt the whole point is just to calculate how much you will need to use to calculate like to cut your flounce so that way you don't make miss you don't use a lot of fabric or like like the easiest way to cut it is basically what i'm trying to say so guys what you're going to do i drew this pant out you're going to you're not going to start from the band remember you're going to start from the body of the pant so i'm just using this as an example so let's say you measure from the beginning here the beginning of this not including the band of the pant to the end and you have like 20 inches remember what i said you're going to subtract let's say five inches on a normal pants or normal normally you just remove five so that the tail of the the flounce will not drop and then fall over this way longer than the pants length right like 
fall over and come out down here so but at least if you move it up it will start somewhere here and then it will meet up with the length of your pants right so what i'm saying is instead of using 20 inches which is from here to here what we are going to do is now subtract five inches from that length of wherever it is you're adding that flounce right and then let's say i have 15 i subtracted five inches you can subtract anything you need just to make it work right so let's say i subtract five inches from mine so 20 minus 5 is going to be 15 and what i'm going to do is to that 15 i'm going to divide it by 6.28 this is a constant that we is used to calculate any measurement for skirts right any circle for skirt that's what you normally use so this uh, once i use that what i have is about 2.2.4 just call it 2.4 so you're going to take first you measure the, the the part you're working with subtract what you need to subtract i mean if you don't need to subtract anything that's also fine and then what you're going to do is whatever measurement you're using my um divided by 6.28 which is what i've done and i got 2.4 so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to now calculate the length i'm working um the the width of the the flounce right so what you're calculating now is the so guys next thing we are calculating now is the width from here to here the, the other thing we calculated is the length from the this side the part that is going to fix into your clothes now we are calculating the width the width this way right so let's say you you're working with about um um five inches for the width and then what you remember you still need to add half an inch to it so that you can use half an inch to join this side of it to lining because you always use lining to turn over your flounce half an inch to join this part of it to the lining the edges to the lining and then half an inch to join the inner part of it to the body of your clothes right so that's extra one inch added to it so let's say i'm working with five inches as my width and then i add extra one inch to it so it's going to be six so what you're going to do is to this 2.4 that you got after dividing the measurement by 6.28 you're going to add the length that's the width that six inches i got to it so that's six in total i have eight so basically guys what you're going to do now that means the width of the fabric i'm going to be working with is at most going to be 8.5 right so i'm going to make sure that my fabric when folded into four you see i have the fabric now folded into four when folded into four i'm going to make sure that my fabric can fit in 8.5 by width 8.5 by length that's make sure that it will fit in and then the next thing you're going to do is to place your tape here mark that first measurement that you got which is 2.4 for me which is basically this this measurement of the length divided by 6.28 that first measurement i got is this i'm going to go ahead and mark it all the way so you're placing your tape by the angle here not this edge here not this edge here the one with the, all the folds you're going to mark two 2.4 right i'm going to just mark it 2.4 let's say it's 2.5 i've marked it so this is the width the next measurement you're going to place your tape to mark is the 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 width which is the width of the flowers like i said was going to be about six inches right which is basically the width of this cloth so i'm going to just mark six inches all the way around from here and then you're going to just keep marking it all the way right if you're wondering why i'm using nine is because remember like we did before is you're going to if i place my tape down here it's going to be that six inches that i need but to to get the whole calculation perfectly because if i put, put my tape here and start measuring everything i might make mistake and it will be it will not be so easy to do but if you put just calculate it and add whatever you need from here to here to this one that way you can use this angle here to put all your all the math if that makes sense it's just like cutting a circle skirt so guys this is basically it here so all you have to do now is just to go from this angle here and then cut it out so guys you see i've cut this bottom part and then i've cut this upper part here so you're going to remove this two and then you're going to have like a full circle which is basically what i'm trying to say you're cutting it in form of a circle right and then you split one open if i want to reduce the length if i want to do like like i said before you want one side shorter and one side longer all i have to do is just to reduce one right i'm just going to go from here and then reduce one this way and blend it into the side wherever you want it to stop if you want you can stop halfway which is the other end just blend it in this way that way you've shortened it you cut off that excess this way 
and guys that's basically how you cut your flounce and then you also manage your fabric at the same time you see if i add this to the side of your cloth now it's going to look something like this if you want you can start with the bigger one at the top and then it tapers down to the smaller one it's just going to form this flounce here it can also be for the waist of a skirt it can also be for a, a peplum it can be for different things just anything you use flounce to do this is one easy method to cut it and how to know the amount of fabric you're going to use so like if you're going to be using lining for these guys all you have to do is just to cut lining that looks exactly like this particular cloth and then you're going to sew it close you're going to place the right side facing the right side right if i have my lining now i'm just going to cut it like this two of these one is my fabric one is the lining place the lining on top right side facing each other so close all the edges here right so close all the edges and then i'm going to flip it out iron it and then join it to the clothes so that's basically it here i hope i explained it for the person that was asking thank you guys so much for your time and i'll see you in my next video please guys subscribe to the channel and bye